Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be making a Raspberry Pi circuit. And um, the circuit is going to involve the LCD, the LED, and the ultrasonic sensor. The way the circuit works is basically the ultrasonic sensor is going to um, give out a sound wave and it's actually going to calculate the distance. And then after that, the LCD is going to display the distance. And if the distance is smaller than a meter, then the LED will light up. Okay? So over here we have the LEDs. Over here we have some wires. On, over here there's a breadboard. Um, I actually got a bigger breadboard before I had a breadboard that was half the size. Then over here I have a Raspberry Pi. And over here I have all the components. Pretty cool. And over here I have 400 resistors. Okay? And we're going to be using some of them. So yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so now you can see that my Raspberry Pi is on. And we're ready to go. I created a new program called Multifunctional Program or multifunkprogram.py. So we're gonna write this program in Python and um, I attach my wired keyboard and my Bluetooth mouse. Okay, so yeah, let's make the circuit. All right guys, so the first step is to attach the LCD, the LCD to the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, I attached the I2C module to the LCD. This basically makes it easier to work with the LCD because this only has four output and input pins. So I only need four wires to connect it to the Raspberry Pi. So it's pretty easy, okay? So yeah, let's see how that goes. So the first thing I did was I connected the ground pin from the I2C to the pin six on the Raspberry Pi, which is ground. Then I went to the VCC, which is five volts, and I connected that to five volts on the Raspberry Pi, pin two. Then I went to SDA and SCL, and I connected that to SDA and SCL in the Raspberry Pi. The next step is to make the LED circuit. On the right, you can see a really, really good website I used to calculate the resistance of a resistor. You basically input the bands and the colors of the bands, and then it'll tell you what the resistance of that resistor is. So at the end, I calculated it for a 220 ohm resistor, and I actually used this 220 ohm resistor to attach it to my circuit. Then, I made the ultrasonic sensor circuit. It was probably the most complicated circuit I made out of the three because it was probably the most complicated component I used after the Raspberry Pi. I first started by plugging in the VCC, the 5 volts, into the Raspberry Pi, then the trigger, and then the echo, and then the ground, where I used a 1K ohm resistor and a 2K ohm resistor. So the wiring is complete. Now you can pause the video if you want to see the whole circuit diagram which is right over here. I used a software called Fritzing to make this diagram. Okay guys, so now we'll start programming. Um, I also moved my program from, uh, it was like over here, to my programming folder because my LCD driver is in the folder and has to be in the same directory, so yeah. Yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to send out uh, a sound wave okay so let's see how we do that um, first we're gonna go like gpio dot setup no, set mode first set mode because we're gonna set the mode to gpio dot board okay then um, we have to go like uh, gpio to we'll like set up all the pins um, gpio dot setup so let's start off with the ultrasonic sensor the vcc we don't need to know about that. And then the trigger, trigger goes all the way to pin 31. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like trig equals to 31. And then echo is equal to, uh, what is echo equal to? Um, 29, yeah. Okay, so now we can just go like GPIO to setup, pin um, trigger, GPIO dot out. So it's gonna like give out a voltage, okay? And then GPIO dot setup, um, echo, GPIO dot in. Because the echo takes in the data, I guess. I don't know how this thing works, but yeah, that's how I've learned it. Um, and then you have to go like time dot sleep. Like it'll just wait like one second or two seconds. And then, um, yeah, let's just wait one second. And then, Oh, and then 
we go like uh, gpio.output because we need to give an output in the gpios which pin trigger uh, true so so in pin number 31 right now what I've written is that it should give a voltage true okay then time dot sleep um, and as you can see at the comments I just wrote like some remembering things that I usually forget like the spelling and everything so yeah 0 0.12 one one two three four yeah so there are four zeros after the decimal you need to remember that and then gpio dot output trigger oh trigger false okay so then now you just want to stop the voltage and it won't give the sound wave anymore okay now you're gonna now you're gonna go like while uh, gpio dot input um echo equals to zero so one is equal to false then you wanna i'm just gonna declare two variables over here or define two variables uh start time equals to zero and end time equals well let's start time and end time equals to zero and then um while blah, blah blah start time you want to start the time the so time dot time the current time okay then while gpio dot input um, echo so when it receives something then end time you want to end the time equals to time dot time so now we know what the difference between the times are and because of this um, we can go like duration equals to uh, end time minus the start time but the difference in seconds I guess then uh, the distance uh, this is how you calculate it. You go like 17,500 times the duration. Um, that's the distance. And then now we can go like... Uh, let's well check if I did everything correct. Yeah, hopefully. And then, yeah, I guess at the end I'd have to put gpio.cleanup just to check if... if um, just to clean up everything. Um, all the GPIO pins. That's really important. You should have that in your program. If you're working with GPIOs and pins and stuff like that, and then we need to output this into the LCD. So we're gonna go like display dot LCD um, display string, and then the value uh, str of so the string version of um, distance because it has to take a string, right? So, and then in which row one. And I guess I'm just gonna go like display dot LCD clear. This should clear everything. And then um, after that, uh, yeah. So it's gonna display that um, that value onto the LCD. And then uh, what we're gonna do is if yeah. So now we'll just set up our L, uh, our LED pins. So do that up here gpio dot setup so i think i did pin uh, let me just check pin 40 yeah pin 40 um gpio dot out dot out and then gpio yeah that's it because it's only one LED, right so um yeah and then if we have an if statement if the distance is smaller than a hundred centimeters or one meter um, then what you want to do is you want to light up the LED so you want to do GPIO oh, GPIO dot output um, which pin was it again 40 uh, true so it's going to give a signal it's going to give a voltage to pin 40 which will hopefully light up our LED then um, after two seconds, so time dot sleep. Um, two seconds, they're just gonna end up the program, I guess. Uh, and then just in case the LCD, just in case the LCD doesn't get cleared, I'm just gonna display dot LCD. Clear. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, hopefully this will work. Um, run 
run module. Um, name display is not find. Is not defined. Oh yeah, obviously it's because I forgot to um. Oh man, obviously. Uh, so I'm gonna go like display is equal to LCD. LCD driver dot LCD. Okay. And then um, let's we'll see if this works. F5. LCD driver is not defined. What? LCD driver is not defined. Well, let's just see what I did wrong. The name of the module is called LCD driver. LCD driver. Yeah. Oh, I did it as LCD. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just going to remove that L as LCD. Oh, there you go. As LCD. All right. See how this goes. Try number three. Um, okay. That's just a warning. And it, and it didn't work. Okay, um, let's just try it again, just a sec. I'm just replacing my ultrasonic sensor because it could have been the broken one. All right guys, so as you can see over here, I have my program and over here I have my circuit. If I click F5 on the program, on the LCD, it should say the number, 7.89 centimeters. And I guess that's roughly around 7.89 centimeters. And um, let's see if the LED blinks. I still haven't seen that, so. Oh. Um, the LED didn't blink for some reason. Um, let's try that again. Yeah, the LED did not blink. So, let's just go ahead and fix that. Alright guys, so after changing a lot of things that actually worked, the first thing I changed was um, I switched off the LED at the start of the program just to make sure that it's off. And then I changed 17,500 into 17,150. Um, that's actually the correct number you're supposed to put and then I made it so if the distance is smaller than 10 centimeters Then light up the LED, okay, so let's just go ahead and see if that works F5 okay. Put my hand in front The distance is 12 so the LED should not light up and it doesn't If I run the program again F5 put my hand just a little closer The distance is 9 so the LED lights up because 9 is smaller than 10, okay? So, uh, yeah, the program works. Um, any questions, you can ask in the comment below. And I'll keep a link to all the resources I used in the description below, okay? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.